And the green flag is out. We're racing in the Superstock Division heat race number one. Leonard pulls out into the lead. He's got Bobby Fisher in the two car battling with Robert Crisp for that second position. Well, Logan Leonard leads the first lap. The real battle is back there for the second position. Robert Crisp on the inside. Bobby Fisher on the outside. Fisher a little bit loose getting down into turn number three. He relinquishes that second and third position. So 29 of Brian Harbin picks up third. And it's Bobby Fisher and Randy Sober. Oh, and contact back there deep in the field. Well, Lance Sober has contact with the 42 of Jeffrey Waterman. Spins down there in turn number three, and that brings out the caution flag. In here, Logan Leonard and Robert Crisp on the front row. Green flag is out. We are racing. Logan Leonard gets down into turn number one first. Crisp on the outside, about a car length behind, but now drives back, gets a good run off the corner. Brian Harbin in the 29 sticks it on the inside of him, trying to hold Crisp on the outside and get that position away from him. Logan Leonard leads another lap. Brian Harbin moves up into the second position, and now it's Bobby Fisher taking a look to the inside of Crisp. Crisp has got a good car off turn number two. Got a really good drive down the back straightaway there, leaving that bottom groove open for Fisher. Well, Logan Leonard leads another lap with just two to go. It's Leonard and then Harbin. The battle is for the third position. Robert Crisp on the outside and Bobby Fisher on the inside. Crisp is doing good on the outside there. The white flag is out. Robert Crisp still with the third position as they cross the stripe, but Bobby Fisher definitely getting a good run over there down the back straightaway, battling for position. Out in front, Logan Leonard looks poised to win it. Really loose coming off the corner is the 29 of Harbin, and then it's Robert Crisp, Bobby Fisher, and Lance Sober, the top five cars. And we are racing. Shane Leonard on the outside getting a good drive off turn number two. Jimmy Miser on the bottom of the racetrack. He holds the preferred line. Oh, and contact between the front two cars. Miser locked his brakes up. Contact with Leonard results in Leonard turning around backwards, and that is a yellow flag. I believe we'll line him back up double file and try and get another clean start. Looks like Leonard's car still got all the air in the tires. That's and we're going to try it again. Oscar's waving the green flag. Good side-by-side -side start. Shane Leonard on the outside. Jimmy Miser on the bottom of the race time. This time, Shane Leonard gets a good run through one and two. Miser falls in line in the second place position. Jamie Wilson in the third spot. A really loose coming off turn four for Wilson. The 21 of George Bartomac going to try and get up in there and, uh, and battle for that third position. Look at Shane Leonard go. He's already put about a five-car length lead over Jimmy Miser. Uh, that battle is shaping up. Contact between these two drivers in the third position. Everybody... Shane Leonard gets the advantage off turn two. Jimmy Miser second. George Bartomac running in the third spot. With just two laps to go, Shane Leonard has got the lead over Jimmy Miser and George Bartomac. Jamie Wilson running in the fourth spot and the 24 of Mark Waterman Jr. in the fifth position as the white flag waves. One more time around the speedway for Shane Leonard. Well, 
Leonard cruises to victory in the Super Stocks. Jimmy Miser second and George Bartomac with the third position. Road Warrior action coming up next. All right, green flag is waving. Logan Leonard and Shane Leonard on the front row. Logan on the bottom, Shane Leonard on the outside. Brian Harbin in third in that number 29 ride. A very fast group of super stocks out on the racetrack right now. Shane Leonard leads the first lap over Logan Leonard and Brian Harbin. Robert Crisp in the fourth position. Jimmy Miser running in fifth. Then it's Bobby Fisher and George Bartomac. Shane Leonard coming around to lead another lap. A lot of sparks flying off the back of Logan Leonard's car as he was coming off a of turn number four there. Something going on inside the left rear tire, that number 57. As I see more sparks coming off of turn number two. When he gets back in the throttle, that thing is shooting some metal out of the back of the car. Oh, Robert Chris gets too hard on the brakes going down into turn number one, and he loops that car out. He almost run up into the back of Brian Harbin. Green flag racing. Oscar's looking him over. The green flag's up in the air. Well, we've got four laps complete. Oh, problems on the outside of the track. I see debris, debris flying up there. Don's going to run out there in the track and grab it. Leonard leads it. Brian Harbin up into the second position. Cars loose coming off turn number four. Bobby Fisher running in third. Shane Leonard, Brian Harbin, Bobby Fisher, the top three cars. Logan Leonard falls into fourth. Jimmy Miser. And then here comes Robert Chris back up through the field in that number two ride. Got a good battle back there. Uh, Bobby Fisher trying to hold off Logan Leonard. And we've got a car spun over here, Gustafson in turn number four as the field is coming to him. So it's Shane Leonard still out in front of Brian Harvin, Bobby Fisher, Logan Leonard. And the green flag waves. Good start for Leonard on the inside. Brian Harbin going to be trying to hold off Bobby Fisher for that second position. Bobby Fisher on the bottom of the racetrack trying to power by. Harbin's going to come off turn number four, hold on to that second spot, but Bobby Fisher still on the inside of him. Trying to make a run for the second position. Look at him stacking up back there. Logan Leonard running next to Robert Crisp. And they're battling for the fourth position. All right, caution flag. Caution flag is coming out. Whoa, whoa. So it's Shane Leonard, Brian Harbin, Bobby Fisher, and Logan Leonard doing battle for third. Then Robert Crisp, Jimmy Miser, and the 42 of Jeffrey Waterman. And this race is half over. Hey, 
Open wheel cars, I need you in the staging area. Open wheel modifieds, let's make our way to the staging area, please. Well, Logan Leonard's been stuck on the outside of the racetrack. But right now, Jimmy Miser making his way by underneath him, as well as the 42 of Jeffrey Waterman. Shane Leonard out in front, all on his own. Brian Harbin, Bobby Fisher, Robert Crisp. Fisher on the inside in that yellow and blue car. Robert Crisp on the outside. Shane Leonard with a nice comfortable lead out there over Brian Harbin. The real battle back here is between Bobby Fisher and Robert Crisp. Crisp is on the outside still as he's been for about the last three, four laps. We've got five to go. And caution flag is out. Gustafson spins over in turn number four, and that's going to stack the field back up. Let's see if he can pull off just one more. Green flag is out. And this time, Harbin gets a really good run on the outside. Can he hang on the outside of Leonard? Brian Harbin on the outside, Shane Leonard on the bottom, and we've got a car. Jimmy Miser gets really loose over there, coming off a of turn number two. Leonard comes around to lead the lap. Bobby Fisher's getting a little bit loose over there. Logan Leonard right behind him on the outside. Robert Crisp running in the fifth spot as we come to the white flag. One more time around the speedway. Boy, Bobby Fisher really been getting that car loose. Not sure if that has anything to do with the uh, the nose of the number 57 of Logan Leonard or not. Checkered flag is up in the air. Shane Leonard going to win it. Brian Harbin, Bobby Fisher, Logan Leonard, Robert Crisp for the top five. Climbs out of the race car, everybody. Shane Leonard with another feature win in the Superstock division. This car is fast, and uh, it just seems to be unstoppable. No matter where you start in the field, you make your way to the front. All the feature wins on the front of that car. You've done something right. What is it that makes this thing so fast? Is it just the driver? <laughs> nah, it's a lot of hard work. We working on it all week long, have it all ready to go, bring it out here, ready to run. They say it's nice to have a good full field of cars out here. Now they start showing up, then I'll have to start in the back, and we'll have a good race. All right, so if my microphone will cooperate, I'll tell you to give them a round of applause. She's Brian. <laughs> Great job this evening. Bobby Fisher as well back there.